All right, welcome back to the weekly Warm Farm Check-In. My name is Steve Churchill and I'm the owner of the Urban Warm Company. Last week we added a pretty good portion of food waste that I had frozen in order to get rid of fruit flies. And then I thought it back out again to add to this bin. The food waste stunk pretty bad and it was super wet. So to absorb all that moisture, we added some pit moss underneath the food waste. I had to go out of town quite a bit last week, so it's been more than 10 days since I did that feeding. Now, a couple days after I did that feeding, I couldn't help myself and I looked in the bin just a couple days later. That smell had dissipated and the worms had already started attacking the food waste and congregating near the surface, which was pretty encouraging. So after a pretty aggressive feeding, I'm kind of optimistic that we can do another good feeding this week. And real quick, if you like these weekly check-ins and want me to make more of them, please like this video, hit subscribe, and click that little bell to get notified every time I release a new video like this. All right, so let's open up this budget worm farm and see what we did last week, and we'll give it a feeding this week. All right, here we go, gang. Going to go ahead and look at how this stuff's going. As always, we're going to look at our temperatures. High, uh, looks like the high 50s here in the Philly area and um, got 62 degrees in the barn, 47% humidity. And we are looking at just about uh, 60 degrees, maybe also the high 50s here uh, in the vermicompost. So take this stuff off and we'll look at uh, We'll look at things. Of course, you can't smell how this, uh, you can't smell this bin right now through uh, YouTube. Not not, uh, not yet anyways, uh, they haven't gotten that technology going, um, but things uh, smell just fine. Um, we had put in that real aggressive feeding. And like I said, a couple days uh, after the feeding, it was actually all cleared up anyway. So um, when I did check this, uh, this bin before, there were some worms that were right underneath some of these uh, peels. This is a banana peel right now and uh there were some worms that i found actually seeing some right now looks like a few that were up underneath that uh that banana peel um that's always encouraging to see these guys are pretty good size too you can still see a lot of dry bedding here so i maybe overdid it with the dry bedding uh last week um but one of the things i i see that's really encouraging is uh just juveniles like this guy um he's got some pit moss kind of sticking to him but you know these these little worms very happy to see very happy to see juvenile worms in the mix there's another one so these guys are going to grow out here probably to adult uh adult size within the next uh three weeks or so i'm uh, actually seeing a lot of them right now which is which is nice um let's go ahead and dig around in here see if we can see any cocoons always like to see cocoons here's a nice uh Here's a nice fat guy. Of course, we're looking at the worms, but we're also really, the whole point of doing vermicomposting is to uh, process our food waste. And most of the food waste that is in here has been, uh, really has been worked through. The one thing I was seeing was uh, was a banana peel. So you can see uh, banana peels right here. You can actually see some uh, see some little baby uh, baby worms that are in there. Those might have recently hatched, which is, uh, which is kind of cool. We'll dig around elsewhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to find any big chunks of uh, food waste. Yeah, I'm liking the I'm liking what I'm seeing in terms of the population. Haven't spotted any cocoons just yet, um, but as long as I'm seeing the baby worms, we kind of have to assume that the cocoons had been forming and and hatching. Of course, we found cocoons last week. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with how this is going. Uh, I did give this quite a few days. Here's an old banana peel. Kind of see that the, these things just get skinnier and skinnier. And the worms do like to kind of hang out in the, uh, the banana peels, the inside of them. They've got these like kind of little channels and the worms seem to like to like to hang out in there. So yeah, I think that we can go ahead and, and give this thing another feeding this week. Uh, it's gonna be pretty simple. I don't think that we need to add any more bedding because you can still see a lot of this uh, pit moss that hasn't even really interacted with any of the food waste. So let's go ahead and smooth this out. This will be another feeding without um without bedding which is fine with me as long as the worms are fine i'm fine again it, you know a lot of people want to adhere to a bunch of different rules when it comes to vermicomposting and my rule is if it's working looks like it's working just keep doing what you're doing so um what i'm going to put in is uh some food waste here this stuff does have some fruit flies uh in it um so we may have to uh deal with that but that's no big deal 
Uh, I did not really chop this stuff up as much as uh, as much as I normally would. Again, kind of interesting. It's really, again, me being lazy, uh, but these broccoli stalks, these are gonna take a while to, to break down. Uh, that looks like maybe a part of a cucumber. That's the other, that's the other part of a cucumber. Um, got some uh, orange peels and more banana peels. So this is just gonna be kind of a kind of run of the mill, run of the mill feeding, except that we're just not gonna be adding any of uh, any of the added bedding. Uh, I may end up coming out here. In fact, I'll go ahead and do it now. Gonna uh, gonna go ahead and wet this down a little bit. I, I want to, uh, I, I don't love the moisture. Didn't really do a moisture squeeze check or any squeeze test or anything like that. Um, so gonna add a little bit of water. And uh, when you do add water, don't ever pour water into a worm bin. Just go ahead and spray it. A whole lot of whole lot of sprays rather than pouring the water in. And another thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some sand for grit. So got some uh, play yard sand here. This isn't anything like agricultural. This is just playground sand from Home Depot. So maybe add another little uh, another little sprinkling here. You add the grit for maybe a couple reasons. Sometimes there there are some buffering, some pH reasons to do it, but it's also uh, the grit helps the worms to digest. They don't have teeth, so they bring the stuff into a to a gizzard, and they need some some things that grind in that gizzard to grind the food waste down. So we're going to add a little bit of that grit to help them out. So pretty simple uh, video this week. Pretty simple feeding. Um, we're going to close this thing back up and check it here in a few days. Thanks, guys. Yep. Okay, so I'm really happy with what I saw this week. The banana peels were paper thin and most everything looks like it had been worked through. There were no smells at all. And so I think things are going just fine. Now, here's the thing though. It is starting to get chilly here. And when the temperatures drop, so does microbial activity and worm activity. So even though I'm ramping up the feeding now, the decomposition may start to slow down. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that and maybe bring in some man-made heat to keep the bin humming through the colder temps we're gonna see here soon. All right, if you're new to the channel or new to vermicomposting, I wanna send you the Worm Farm Startup Guide, which is a cool little PDF that's gonna help you start up a small budget worm farm like this one to recycle your food scraps. Just click this little link above my left shoulder and it's gonna take you down to the video description and YouTube is kind of making this difficult, but it's gonna take you down to the video description where there's another link where you can go to my website and sign up and get that guide immediately. You can also check the top link in the video description to get that guide. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week.